We welcome you into our season debut of the United Bank Playbook as West Virginia gets set to take on the Tigers of LSU. Did that well. Did that well. <laughs> yeah, I know you like when I say I like it. When you do that, yeah, <laughs> he does like that. All right, West Virginia, LSU, part of the SEC, uh, Big Twelve challenge, and you like the athleticism on this LSU team. Biggest team, most athletic team you faced to this point. Fair assessment or not? Mm, Connecticut was pretty athletic on the front sure. line. Uh, probably combined athleticism and skill. Yeah. I think probably the the best front line. They now, of course, Connecticut. Their guards are strong. Um, these guys will try to score with their front line. Is that a fair assessment? That's where they're going to try to get the bulk of their points. Well, not necessarily. Uh, you know, Great got thirty seven a game as a as a JUCO a year ago and was first uh, first team all freshman team in in our league the year before Texas Tech. So he obviously can score the ball. Uh, Hornsby can score the ball. They they depend on him for perimeter shooting and, and, and toughness and a lot of things. So I think it's a pretty well-rounded team, actually. Hugs, what is on your agenda as, in preparation for this game? What do you want to clean up before you play this game? I don't think we rebounded very well at the defensive end yet. I thought we were a little bit better. Uh, the Charleston game, we emphasized it before that. We're gonna, we've continued to emphasize it this week. We can't turn those guys loose at the rim. And they're going to have their have their uh, shoulders in the rim if, if that's the case. We, we've got to do a better job of, of getting to them and getting contact. And, and, and then we've just, we've got to, one, we've got to score easy baskets, which we've missed, uh, as you know, uh, countless just point blank shots. And conversely, we can't give the other people easy shots. Getting back to the problem with your defensive rebound, when you watch it on tape, is it literally just not putting a body onto a body? Is it a lack of desire, a lack of understanding? How do you diagnose it? Well, we, we end up rotating so much because of the way we're playing. I mean, we're, we're flying around at the ball, which is going to gonna make uh, for a lot of help and recoveries and, and a lot of rotations. And, and we just... You know, and and then you still got to help, and and they've they've done a better job, I think, of getting off the help. That's why they call it help and recover. You help, and then you recover back to block out your man. We've got the help part right. okay uh, in the half court, but the recovery part we still need a lot of work on. Final question for you here: When you boil this one down, what's the key to success? How do you beat these guys? We got to turn them over. We got to turn them over, and we can't turn it over, and and we got to rebound the ball. I mean, I think if we if we win the battle of the glass and we can turn them over the way we've been turning people over, I think our chances are good. Should be a good one, West Virginia and LSU. It's the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Tip off is set for seven o'clock. Pre-game coverage on the Mountaineer Sports Network radio side goes at six thirty. Along with Bob Huggins, I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been the United Bank Playbook. You got it.